below or in the eye up here or is it on this side it's up, it's up the top and i tested out all these products on my face there were definitely some hits and there were definitely some i'm not sure's and misses i guess you could say let me know what you think of these products down below because i'd love to know without further ado let's get into it really don't like filming with this camera i want my old camera back okay so got my big box of goodies here by the way i have painted nails for the first time in ages and i went with a bright bloody orange so I'm going to be trying the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Primer. Ooh, it's like a blue colour. Ooh, why am I starting off with primer? I do eyes first. I'm going to prime my face now, even though this is like very thick. I think I applied way too much. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, that looks like straight up sunscreen. I'm going to wipe that off because that's not how you're supposed to put it on. So I had a couple different eyebrow products that I got in my haul. got the model's own one, which I'm going to be using today. I have the color Chestnut 08. So I'm going to start off with the middle brown color first. Oh, middle color is actually a wax. I did not know that. So I'm going to go into the dark brown powder. Lately, filling in my eyebrows has been a bit of a mission. I don't know why. That looks pretty nice actually it seems to be really nice and pigmented blended out with the spoolie that is the brow that actually looks really nice it's pretty dark now i'm going to dip into the wax shade and i'm just going to add that very um creamy like it's very easy to cut if that makes sense my left eyebrow is just pain in the butt you know but I think this is really nice. Very impressed with the pigmentation of this. And then to set them, I'm going to be using the Essence Make Me Brow. I'm really excited to try this because I'm dupe for the Gimme Brow. So. Ooh. Ooh, I really like this. This is really good. To prime and conceal my lids, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Concealer. I'm very excited to try this out because I've heard really, really good things about... Ooh, it's quite... Oh my, it's quite thick. I've heard really good things about this concealer. Let's give this a whirl. To carve out my lids, I'm going to be using a like Vanity Planet brush. It's the smudging brush. I really like this brush. And then I'm going to buff that out with a Zoeva 142 brush. Ooh. Okay. So that just did not agree with the concealer. I don't know if you can see, but it's almost like separating. I'm going to take my Real Techniques sponge and try and blend it out because it might have just been some, like residue on the brush. Yeah, okay. Whew. I was getting a bit scared for a second. And then to set my lids, I'm going to take the loose powder, the Grand Finale loose powder from Model Zone in the translucent. Sometimes certain loose powders won't agree with eyeshadows and it can get really like patchy. But this looks freaking beautiful. Okay, today I'm going to use the NYX Perfect Filter. Help. I had a hiccup in rustic antique. I'm gonna take my Zoeva 228 Lux Crease Brush. Ooh, and I'm first gonna dip into this lovely warm toned orange. I'm gonna do like a halo y effect. Oh, it matches my nails! That was so unintentional. Next, I'm gonna dip into this color right below. Go. Kind of in the halo eye shape. Then I'm going to dip back into the orange. Okay, then I'm going to dip into a little bit of this like purpley shade. And I'm just going to blend those edges so it doesn't look absolutely ridiculous. The only thing I don't like about these shadows is you have to build them up quite a lot. They can look really intense and pigmented, but then you blend them out and the pigmentation kind of goes away. So, my camera overheated and I did stuff. That point looks super weird on camera. <laughs> Okay, so I just restarted my eyeshadow because it wasn't going the way I wanted it to, and I'm doing it again, <laughs> so excuse all the fallout. But I keep running into the same issue where the eyeshadows are a little bit patchy, and that could be the concealer, the powder, or it's the eyeshadows themselves. But I'll show you what I mean. Can you see how there's like this weird gap here? It's almost like the eye the eyeshadows are just really patchy. Um, and that look that one is really really bad. So I'm gonna take the eyeshadow off and I'm gonna try it again because my other NYX palette doesn't do this. So I'm a little bit like, oh. So this is the third time that I'm doing it. So I've just applied these two shades into my crease and they seem to be okay. Um, they haven't like done a weird separation thing as of yet, but I'm really scared to add another colour on top because I don't want it to do that because it looks fine at the moment. I'm going to take a clean brush just for precaution um, and I'm going to dip into the dark maroon burgundy colour and I'm just going to pray to God. 
So instead of that was own powder, I used the RCMA No Color Powder, which I don't usually have an issue with that affecting the eyeshadow. It could be the concealer. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'm going to take a dark brown from the Anastasia palette, purely because I don't have a dark brown in any of these palettes. The outer V of my eye. And then I'm going to softly blend the rest. Yeah, okay, I think I'm going to leave it like this for the matte eyeshadow, and then we'll move on to the glitter, because I don't want to ruin it. It's not a glitter, but it's like a shimmery pigment which is what it's called it's the australis shimmer australis australis shimmer pigment hot in bombshell bronze and i'm just going to take some Too faced glitter glue and i'm going to place that on the center of the lid i'm going to take this gold color i'm going to apply that to where the glitter meets the shadow and then i take the brush with that brown shadow so that looks a lot better <laughs> i'm just going to finish the off this eye off camera because Look at it. I am so annoyed at my eyeshadow. Ugh. I'm gonna apply some lashes to hide everything. And then for lashes, I'm gonna be using Queen Bee Lashes by Coco Lashes. So for primer, we're gonna <laughs> apply the NYX HD. I'm not gonna apply as much as I did last time because that was a mistake clearly. So a little bit of this goes a long way. It's that kind of smells like, oh, why does that ring a bell? My acne looks super pigmented. Yay. It's definitely not one of those like silicone-y professional type of deals. I'm going to be trying the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat. I don't know why that. Stay Matte But Not Flat Liquid Foundation. I've got the colour Soft Beige. Um, I have Self Tanner on obviously at the moment. Um, I just have a feeling this could be wrong because when I pumped it out it looked super orange. This is not a new foundation either. It's been out for a while. So if the colour's off, I'll be going purely based on formula. I'm really excited because I haven't tried a new foundation in a long time. And I'm going to use a Real Techniques sponge to blend it out. I'm just going to work on one section at a time. Actually, the colour's not terrible. It just looks really orange on my hand, even though I am orange. <laughs> Ooh! That looks really nice! Um, I think the primer is actually doing a really nice job too of like letting the foundation sit on something smooth, unlike my face. Definitely going to need another layer. But I'm not mad at how that looks. I mean, you can definitely tell that I'm wearing foundation, if that makes sense. I'll fill this up. It doesn't really have a scent to it either, which is good. I would say the coverage is probably like medium coverage. It doesn't really look matte to me. Like, you can definitely see. It's pretty dewy, so it's pretty good. And then for under eye concealer, I'm going to use the NYX Gotcha Covered Total Coverage Concealer. And I have the color Light. And this says it's waterproof on the front. Oh my. That is a thick concealer. Whoa, okay. Holy shivers. <laughs> it's really thick. Okay. Oh man. Okay, I'm just gonna apply it on my eyes with my finger and then I'm gonna blend it out with my sponge. Okay, that looks really good. Quite uh, dewy, if that makes sense. I only used a tiny bit. Um, It definitely like highlights my pores. I don't know if you can see that. And it kind of feels like paint, to be honest. I hope none of these products make me break out because I already deal with that on a daily basis. So I don't need any help. <laughs> Little goes a very long way. Okay, so now I'm gonna powder my face and I'm gonna powder under my eyes with the model's own powder that we used. Well, we didn't use it in the end. I'm gonna take my Real Techniques setting brush. It looks, I don't know if heavy and cakey are the same thing, but I would describe my face as a bit heavy at the moment. Oh man, looks like I have a mask on, cause I do. <laughs> you know when you powder sometimes and it just feels like your face has been like, <sighs> But to set the remainder of my face, I'm going to use the Australis Fresh Glitter, Fresh and Flawless Powder. So, I mean, it's, I don't feel like I'd ever have an issue with a face powder. My bronzer would definitely, definitely skip. I did not powder my face, I just know. And then for bronzer, I'm going to try the NYX Contour Palette. This has been out for quite a few years, I think. And I remember it was like the hit because it was really good for fair skin tones. I have a Zoeva 127 brush, my go-to contour. Take the warmer colour first. Don't know how pigmented these are going to be. Whoa, okay. This is so pigmented. <laughs> Holy shivers, look at that. So, if you have fair skin, holy Dooley, we're definitely gonna need to go over that with some powder. Oh my goodness. Okay, kind of sipping on the foundation a little bit at the top there. It looks beautiful though. Just shave my sideburns. I'm gonna take my powder, go over that bronzer because man, 
feel like, I don't know what to think of this first impressions. Like we've had some hits, but my God, have we had some, I don't know what the hell is happening. That looks a thousand times better. Whew. For blush, I'm gonna be using the Essence Satin Touch Blush. Why do I look so orange on camera? <laughs> this video is just shambles. This is in the color Satin Coral. Okay, we have color. Turn you down as well. Or highlighter. I'm gonna use this model's own Sculpt and Glow palette. Take the light gold color. I'm scared. It just looks powdery. Um, got a little bit of shine. It just looks powdery and it's not showing up very well. I'm gonna try the highlight from the NYX palette, even though I have a feeling this is gonna look really bad. Oh, okay. That's definitely a lot, like, a lot stronger of a highlight, but it looks a bit powdery on the skin. That could be because there's about 3,000 layers of powder below it. I'm gonna spray my face with some Mara Badescu just to, like, set everything down. I think I'm gonna go with this Deep Berry color. This is the model's own Deep Berry liquid lipstick. These have a really strong smell. I remember that from my um, haul. Ooh! Hopefully we can finish off a positive. Camera just died, but can we appreciate how beautiful that color is? This feels incredibly comfortable. Wow, that's a good liquid lipstick. If this lasts well, dang girl. Okay, I'm so glad we finished off on a positive. That completes this video. I feel like I'm going to like a lot of these products, even the eyeshadows. Maybe. But this isn't me bashing these products because I don't think they deserve to be bashed. I don't do a lot of full face first impressions, but I really want to do more of them. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you want to see more of them. I hope you're all having a lovely day or night, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you in my next video. Get excited for Christmas. Bye. Trust me, I don't want to feel.